Right, welcome to Harley Classics. Uh, and another bike we've pulled out the museum for you to have a look at. This one's not a 16 year old special. It's a uh, 100cc, it's the Suzuki GP100. Um, in my opinion, not particularly the best looking bike you can get, but it served a purpose. More of a commuter bike, really, than a, a sports bike. They made this bike in the 100 and 125, I think. This one's a W Reg, so 1980-ish. Um, it was actually restored by a motorcycle shop um, in the city where I live. The guy totally restored it, and we've had it sitting in the little museum for a few years now. Uh, like I say, back in the day, not my cup of tea. Um, when you were 17, the government would let you drive a 250cc motorcycle with L plates on, and then they reduced that to 125cc. So, hence a lot of the manufacturers were making these things, either 105 or 100 to fit in that gap, so you could put your L plates on. A good bike to learn to drive on, for a learning skill, but not much straight tread. Personally speaking, um, I had the GT 105, which was a similar looking bike, really, as in, uh, Looked like it had the same sort of clocks on it, uh, similar tank, a little bit different, but it had a twin cylinder engine. Uh, looked like the Suzuki 250 that had shrank, so it had more appeal. Um, the Yamaha RD105, another twin cylinder bike, a lot more appealing than this. And then obviously the LC105 uh, and 80s were, were also more appealing than this. This is just basically uh, a commuter bike. But a nice thing, um, probably 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour if you dare, flat out in the condition uh, this is in. I probably think round about two and a half to three and a half thousand pound in the market, something like that. Uh, and I think eventually, you know, it will go up in price because they're, they're becoming rare. I don't know how many is left on the roads, but there can't be many. Um, not really a bike you could mess on with. Uh, as for engine tuning, um, because there wasn't that many made, uh, so the parts weren't, you know, aftermarket parts like sports exhausts and, and big ball kits and, and stuff like that that wasn't available for them. It was more, like I said from the start, more of a commute, a motorcycle or a learner's motorcycle. So there you have it, the Suzuki GP100 uh, W Reg. Bye bye now.